So we're going to part uh, two of this tutorial creating a picture in Photoshop. So I'm, I know my last tutorial I went quite a little fast. So this tutorial I'm going to try to go slow and uh, we're going to see how we can create uh, a sky. And uh, my preview video that I made, which was part one, which is this one the side that here playing, you know. It's we went on and created a moon. So you can come over a video one that for ICC and click on it, then watch it. Then uh, it will be easy for you to follow this part two of the tutorial. And what we're trying to achieve on this part two of this tutorial is we want to achieve these buildings and the sky where it's separated and also maybe if, if we could make it we make this bridge too and these lines right now let's go ahead and get started what we're gonna achieve is this one we're gonna achieve this uh, nice looking um, sky and the buildings and uh, water and also maybe bridge after that if we have more time now we have uh, one minute we got one minute already so now we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna show you the way I did it and uh, also I'm gonna show the images that I used in Google wait uh, so first the image that I used was this image right over uh, which one is it uh, it was this one over here so if I, oh, if I alt click you see this is the image what I did I took the pen tool then went over it like that so when it's like this make sure to click and drag right then uh, click and drag and click so wait then alt click on the point then go ahead and take it forward then uh, I went on and uh, created this mask and uh, didn't care about how I did it with the hard edge because when I right click after I join the beginning to the end after I join the path together and then uh, it gives me this kind of look I'm going to right click make a selection and also they give me an options of feather radius I uh, will be to zero maybe there will be no number on it so make sure you put two which is better try it already and uh, edit after that you get first make a new layer first thing you gonna make a new layer and uh, we're gonna take this moon folder over to the top and we're gonna turn it off we're clicking the eye and the which I made this folder in my last tutorial or also I'm going to show you how to make a folder in a moment ok we're going to click make a new layer down here name it double click on the name then say clouds if you lazy naming these layers you cannot you can't name it if you don't want the, the, what I did is I uh, click on back on the image then I went on edit copy then I went on the layer that, that I just made and I went to edit and paste and that gave me this effect see this with a feather nice crowds so what I did with that is I went and uh, did the same thing with the stars so I'm just going to turn this off so the stars are like this but when I got this image first time when I got this image first time is um, it didn't have these clouds in it which I don't like right now which you can go ahead and search for stars and get an image that doesn't have uh, clouds in it so yeah and uh, what I did is I went on and resized it to about here so I can be able to put the buildings on it under this sky so once I, I achieved this effect of clouds I moved it down I clicked on this move tool and I moved it down and if you want to move it down on the keyboard you can use the up and down arrow and I set the blending mode to overlay 
which I achieved this effect. Uh, also, you can set it to lighten. Lighten. Uh, you can set it to light uh, color dodge, and also you can set it to lighter color, which is not good, but it give you the cloud looking effect. And um, linear bone, no. You can go ahead and play with this until you get a nice effect. Like this one's nice. So let's say we leave it to about like that. And uh, the, the other step I did is I went on and um, masked out this image using this tool. Went on and on and created a mask around here all the way to here. And I joined it together. So I wanted this uh, ocean, this sea over here, the water and the um, building to be separate. Which after that I... Uh, got this effect the buildings and the buildings well weren't this short they were taller so then I had to go and edit transform scale and I scale them down all right but make sure you're on the layer that you wanted to scale down and uh, to remove this thing you gotta hit enter so let's try and click on the move on the tool Alright, so after that, when I achieved this uh, building, what I did is I um, let me just move it here. What I did is I went on and uh, create and the sea, which is a, this is um, a solid. This is a new layer with a, a black background. So let's go ahead and show you the um, the water which is here, as you can see it's separate which I got from this image so what I did for that one is I click on over here and to the end and down here and down again and join it together then I right click make a selection two feather, two pixels of a feather and then I went edit copy I made a new layer and I edited and pasted and uh, when I take this off, this is the effect I got. So once I paste it, this is the effect I got. Water, which was separated from uh, that. Which you can go ahead and do anything with it. Add color collection and uh, things like that. And uh, I went on edit adjustment levels then I wanted to make it lighter a little bit so I move this here then I move to the uh, end closer then I just put a little bit black in it just a little bit about one then uh, this is was the effect I was able to get now as you can see when I put this on there's some things that it covers uh, take a closer look over here let me zoom in it's too much. Uh, let me zoom up a little bit. Click on this minus two, and uh, I think you can see. It. So when I uh, put this black solid, you can see some stuff getting off of here and getting on. So what I did for that is I uh, is I uh, so I'm gonna alt click on this one so I can show it. Is I made a new solid, a uh, new layer. Then I um, went on and painted it with a black background. And what I did is I took this uh, rectangle marquee tool. Then I went and made a shape to a shape. Then I edit and copy, and then I made a new layer. And then I edited and paste. Right? Then I took this off and deleted. Now I had this kind of effect right so once I did that uh, is I took it all the way down so I'm just gonna take this one off too I took it down to about wait I took it down to about here right maybe down and then I turned on this layer and the water layer and I click on this layer so I can like see it 
as you can see if I take it up it goes up up more so I took it down to about where I cannot see it but it can cover these blank spaces and that's what I did and then uh, after I uh, took the cloud layer and put it on then I took the sky layer put it on then that's the effect I was able to get and I'm just gonna move this uh, sky up and I uh, um, let's go ahead and click and select both of them maybe put it under over here and uh, this is what I got so uh, let's go ahead and add a little bit of hue and saturation go on the window adjustment hue and saturation and I added some hue and I clicked here to be able to, uh, to make sure that it's only affecting the stars and I took it the blues and that was it and that uh, was nice and also see the clouds let's try another blending mode that looks nice and I duplicated it and I made an overlay which it looks quite nice and opacity just down a little bit and that's what I got so then I uh, went to the moon layer then uh, you can see how to create this on my last video what I made part one so just click on the eye to be able to turn it on and um, yeah this is what I got a moon and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this moon take it to about down under the stars no actually between clouds and the stars and this is the effect that I got and I went on let me see if I have time I went on and made a new, new layer and I uh, alt delete which you can do with a bucket just click on it and add a black background and um, filter, blender, lens flap these are kind of a lens, uh, let's see this one and this is what I got, this is the effect so what I was to do is add it, uh, change some blending mode to try to achieve the effect that I need for this uh, screen was the one then I took it all the way here right then I went on adjust image adjustment levels then I added some uh, darkness so it can be seen like that then what I did is I um, duplicated it so it can be a little bit harder and let me see for time and uh, I uh, went on with other hue saturation so after that I uh, took this a uh, little bit these clouds number one not the copy one the first one then I added um, back a black brush then I so I can be able to achieve this night looking effect so it can look I like it's a night went on the layers on the light they did the same thing and also the second one too and uh, I was able to put it, this light under the, the moon layer so it can uh, effect behind the, behind the moon alright so and those were the few steps that I did and uh, this moon you can see how it's created in my first part of the tutorial and uh, we don't have time and then on my part three of the, the tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a bridge and also how to make these lines and uh, more stuff that are shown in uh, in here thanks for watching and this is Rashidi saying goodbye till next time